how did it all start? In the dark times of 1983, Don't you want me, baby? Hi there. My name is Jim Rexford. How are you today? A tragedy occurred in the video game industry. Video games that shouldn't have been made were made. Companies that shouldn't have been in the industry were in the industry. Video games that should have been bought were not bought. Money that should have been gained was lost. What is this atrocity called? No, it does not start with a D for disappointment. It was called the video game crash of 1983. <laughs> the video game crash of 1983 occurred in 1983. Obviously! At this time, other companies saw the video game industry as a big opportunity to make moolah. Because so many inexperienced companies rushed in, many boring, repetitive, low-quality, downright suckish games overflowed the shelves of toy stores. It overflowed so much that the E.T. games, <laughs> games were found buried in a New Mexico landfill. The abundance of trash ultimately lowered prices, and companies that overestimated their profits lost dearly. To save the world from these audacious creations, a hero was born. Da -da -da -da! Jumpman. No, Jumpman is not some Superman ripoff. Jumpman, who later evolves. Into Mario, the Mario we all know and love, was created by programmer Shigeru Miyamoto to protect Nintendo from sharing the same fate as other video game companies of this time. Yeah, we're looking at you, Atari. Originally named Mr. Video, Jumpman was created to be the Alfred Hitchcock of all or most of Miyamoto's Nintendo games, appearing in all of the games and taking the throne as video game king. In the beginning, his success was only small, having roles as the main villain in Donkey Kong. However, his potential was seen and ignited the light like the 4th of July when he started as the main character in his own series, Super Mario Bros. What happened to Jumpman, you may ask? The name Jumpman was changed when Nintendo President and CEO Hiroshi Yamauchi and Miyamoto were interrupted during a meeting by an angry landlord named Mario Sigale. The name stuck, and lo and behold, Mario was born! Mario is undoubtedly the world's most recognizable video game icon, but how did his image come to be? His image has remained the same for decades because of the primitive pixelated graphics of the 80s. His red and blue color scheme was created so that he would contrast from the black background. His widely recognizable large nose and mustache was originally intended to make his face stand out more. Just as Superman cannot be without his face, you can never imagine Mario without his hat. Though the hat is one of the most notable physical traits of Mario's appearance, it was created out of Miyamoto's laziness. Yep, Miyamoto admitted to being suckish at designing hair, so the well-known Mario hat was created only to cover his locks. Although Mario is known for saving Princess Peach, Mario actually saved the world. His game concept was simplistic yet challenging, which kept audiences intrigued and playing. Mario pulled Nintendo out of the video game crash and helped kick out unwanted companies Still looking at you, Atari. Mario has opened the door that led to the perfect road of his success. After the video game fiasco, Nintendo saw the opportunity to expand Mario's world past the Mushroom Kingdom. 8-Bit Mario soon transformed into the 3D polygonal figure we know today. Super Mario Bros. continued on to a Super Mario Bros. 2, and then 3, and then were soon followed by Super Mario 64, Super Mario Galaxy, Mario Kart, Mario Baseball, and many more. Mario also spawned off into numerous spin-offs like Mario Party, featuring characters like his brother Luigi, the eternally damsel in distress Princess Peach, and the conniving evil Bowser. Even after this Italian plumber dominated the video game world, Mario's reign expanded past the console gaming and found his way as the star of his own movie, a dancing fitness game, an ice show, and more. The Mario legacy will never die. His widespread exposure, simple concepts, challenging gameplay, and super iconic design have led to a still-growing design. And 
is the reason why video game companies were able to make a comeback. <clears throat> Atari. <clears throat>